Well, Coach, the season continues as the Green Wave qualified for the 2014 WNIT Plum Mississippi State tomorrow in Starkville. Talk about the team's matchups. Well, we're certainly excited to be playing postseason, and um, you know, obviously starting out with an SEC team and, and a, a strong Mississippi State team, I, I think it's going to be a fun matchup, and it's one we're going to have to really be ready to play. Um, obviously, you have some history with them. You played them in recent seasons, scrimmage against them earlier this year. Is, is that a, a help at all right now? I mean, you have some familiarity with them. Well, I certainly think that both teams are different than we were when we played. Um, uh, in October, but um, you know, it is something that at least our players have matched up. They are familiar a little bit with their personnel and and how they play. Um, you know, we can go back and look at the mistakes we made, the good things, the bad things in the scrimmage, and and um, and also kind of kind of see how they've evolved. But it's uh, it, it certainly is something that I think can be an advantage. Obviously, uh, been in the NIT before. This is the, a little bit different this year. That we're starting on the road. Um, only one ever. Uh, road victory for green, the Green Wave in its program history, but that came last year against a good, pretty good Arkansas team. Is that going to be a, di a difficult challenge for you to go on the road and win a game? Well, I think it's always difficult to go into a place, uh, again, an SEC school on the road, but um, one of the things I think we've done well as a team is play well on the road, and we've played a good schedule, and again, we've played at NC State, we've, you know, we've we played at LSU over the years, I mean, we certainly are familiar, Auburn, so we're certainly familiar with those environments. It's about the way your team's playing of late. Um, obviously, some, some hiccups along the way, but you know, 20 wins is 20 wins. It's not the season, and you got a postseason bid. But I mean, you know, we've we've had a tough schedule, and uh, I think some of that we, we've done some good things and, and some not so good things. But um, you know, again, this is a new season. We talked about this our fourth season. Yeah, this is the the postseason, and and you know, kind of regearing and and using this momentum. Not with a team that is returning so many players like we're returning. I think we use this momentum going into next year. So obviously. Uh, Congress should say just about a thing in the past for the Green Wave. Um, stepping into that new league, is this a fresh start? Um, I mean, as far as the level of competition you're going to be playing, because I mean, the AAC has got some obviously very good teams in it with uh, you know, Connecticut. It's going to be in that mix next year. And is this a kind of step up for the team? Well, I think any postseason uh, is certainly a challenge and is certainly a step up. But, you know, for us, I mean, this is a transition time. We've left Conference USA. I mean, officially we're, we're never going to play there again, and, and uh, we're moving on. So I definitely think this is a, our transition period to go from, from where we've been to where we're going. And obviously last year the team put together a little run, uh, make it to the round of 16 in the NIT. Um, you guys obviously looking to supersede that, I guess, this year? Well, I, you are, but I mean, it, I think when you play uh, the quality of teams that we've got uh, ahead of us in this in this NIT is, yeah, you got to take one game and you got to go up there and try to play your best game in that, and you know maybe that's uh, takes a little pressure off compared to you know trying to get ourselves seated in the conference tournament. So you know you you know when when you lose, you're done. So hopefully that gives you a little motivation to play a little harder. I know you guys said you you've played faced Mississippi State before. What's going to be the biggest key in that game? I don't see SEC teams like talking about size and speed a lot of times. What's the biggest matchup that uh, the equation you have to figure out? Well, a couple things. Uh, they have a dominant post player who leads the league in block shots, and, and she's a very their leading scorer. So obviously handling a big player like that and being able to contain her a little bit. And also just their, their defense. I mean, they have pressure defense. They're going to try to create seals. Um, we're going to have to work for our shots, use screens. Um, their defense really is their trademark, and we're going to have to handle that. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.